Mississippi. PG&E under scrutiny again. The utility making a filing to state regulators a short time ago. It has confirmed that Cal Fire has seized the utility's equipment while investigating what sparked the deadly Zog fire. The fire in Shasta and Tehama counties has killed four people. It has scorched 88 square miles and destroyed about 100 homes. In its report, PG&E says about the time that the fire broke out last month, a smart meter and other equipment detected activity near a distribution line and de-energized part of that circuit. In a statement to KPIX5, PG&E says in part, CAL FIRE's investigation is ongoing and we are cooperating fully. We recognize the tragic losses sustained as a result of this year's fire season. PG&E, of course, has a troubled history with wildfires. The company pleaded guilty to 84 counts of manslaughter for deaths related to the campfire back in 2018. And this past summer, the utility emerged from bankruptcy caused by wildfire damages. Now to the latest round of PG&E power outages. That could happen as soon as today. Thousands of people could lose their power in a matter of hours as the wind picks up. PG&E is trying to reduce the risk of its equipment starting another wildfire. Nothing compared to last year and even a few months ago. In fact, October 2019, there were 800,000 customers affected. That was about 2.5 million people. But PG&E says just because it appears to be a smaller power shutoff event, it doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. The fuels are actually much drier, so the you know our fire potential index and the fire danger is just much higher this year, which is another factor that's that's leading to uh, the scope for this event. Overgrown forests have an abundance of small and medium trees known as ladder fuels, which can make fires more dangerous. Ladder fuels would allow a surface fire burning often slowly along the ground to transition into the canopy where it can spread more rapidly. And when those trees are burning, the embers that are blown by the wind can ignite the neighboring trees. They can also be spread further downwind. That's part of the story of California's 2018 fire season. The deadly campfire was fed by dry weather, fast winds, and ladder fuels. The deadly campfire was fed by dry weather, fast winds, and ladder fuels. And destroyed almost 19,000 buildings, businesses, and homes. The deadly campfire was fed by dry weather, fast winds, and ladder fuels. Understanding and predicting fire behavior is one of the necessary skills of every firefighter. In this module, we are going to explore how the fire environment has changed over the years and talk about the many factors that influence your predictability of fire behavior. Fire behavior. Dozens of homes, clearly, uh, this entire block leveled, uh, was driven by those extremely strong winds, and uh, this to me, from what I can gather, it was going to be one of those spot fires, one of those embers that's picked up by the winds. We, we see it time and time again. Firefighters worry so much about this. Uh, it picked up by the winds, you get embers, and it just drops down in a neighborhood like this. Several embers drop down, and uh, it doesn't take a whole lot before you have an entire neighborhood like this on fire. Turbo gas, vegetation, under the high tension power lines across from Po Dam. Company 67, water tender 37, water tender 67, transport 2140, transport 2142, view crew 2, view crew 3, vegetation. And possibly in the area of Camp Creek Road, RP was calling from the Po Dam. Looking across under the high tension power lines, there is a possible power line hazard. fuel 
particles would allow a surface fire, burning often slowly along the ground, to transition into the canopy where it can spread more rapidly. And when those trees are burning, the embers that are blown by the wind to ignite the neighboring trees, they can also be spread further downwind. That's part of the story of California's 2018 fire season. And talk about the main factors that influence your predictability of fire behavior. The deadly campfire was fed by dry weather, fast winds, and ladder fires. PG&E says about the time that the fire broke out last month, a smart meter and other equipment detected activity near a distribution line and de-energized part of that circuit. The deadly campfire was fed by dry weather, fast winds, and ladder fires. That we have the most expensive lawyers in the world. Thank you.